Hey everybody, Austin back again with yet another Let's Play video. Today we're going to attempt to run through parts of uh, Heretic, Shadows of the Serpent Riders, or Shadows of the Serpent Riders. Uh, it's actually been a really, really long time since I've actually attempted to roll through at least this first episode, which we're going to be playing in this episode. And, um, you know, guys, the original plan was to follow up on my Doom Let's Play, which, if you guys have been tuning in for the last week or two, I had just recently done a run-through of Episode 1 on Ultimate Doom. Now, the plan was to go ahead and do Episode 2, but I was like, you know what? <sighs> I, you know, let's, let's take a break from Doom. I don't think people are going to want to see back-to-back -back Doom. Well, I'm sure some of you guys might, but uh, for all my other subscribers, you guys might want to have things mixed up a little bit. I still am in the classic first-person shooter mode, though. I still want to play a classic FPS, so... Uh, yeah, here we are now with Heretic. Now, Heretic was actually one I used to play uh, back in the day as well. I played it a lot, actually. It was uh, one of the earlier PC games I, I bought with my own money. Uh, I think actually, actually, you know what? I think my dad bought this from someone at his job, and I think it only cost him like ten bucks. Had the box and everything. It was the full version of Heretic: Shadow, Shadows of the Serpent Riders, and uh, the full five-episode version like we have here. I believe, much like Doom, Heretic actually only came out as a three or four-episode deal, and then it was re-released as Shadows of the Serpent Riders uh, with a full package five-episode deal. Uh, which we have right here, which I'm actually playing through Steam. So, but yeah, we're gonna play uh, the first episode, and unlike Doom, I am gonna put it on the hardest skill mode. Uh, in Heretic, unlike Doom's hardest mode, enemies do not constantly respawn. Or at least if they do, it's not in the same way that uh, they do in Doom. <laughs> uh, the hardest mode on Doom is pretty much impossible, and I don't think I've ever made it past level 3 on that. Um, but in Heretic, they don't do that, they don't constantly respawn, so we're going to play it on the hardest mode. Um, but yeah, uh, as I was saying, kind of going back to what I, I started off on, I actually played this one quite a bit um, back in the mid-90s, and um, really, really enjoyed this game. Um, you know, it runs on the Doom engine, it plays and it feels a lot like Doom, uh, but it's also a little bit different than Doom. It's not Doom exactly, you know, it's not... Like, uh, your first weapon you start off with, it's kind of like equivalent to your pistol in Doom, but it's actually a little more useful, it's a little more accurate, It's uh, it fires a little bit quicker, and um, that's kind of how Heretic is. It's It's got a, a lot of similarities to Doom, but everything still feels kind of different at the same time. It, it's hard to describe, uh, I mean, it def it's obviously going to feel similar because it's on the same engine, but it also feels pretty different at the same time, and not in a bad way. It's uh, a very good feeling game, it's very smooth in terms of how it moves and how you fire and attack and uh, and so forth, and slice and dice through enemies and whatnot. So uh, if you haven't played this game, but you are a huge fan of Doom, I do definitely suggest trying this one out and giving it a shot yourself. Uh, I don't think you'll be too disappointed. But yeah, there's actually, you know, I did play Heretic a lot back in the day, but uh, you know, it's not one of those games that I go back to, like Doom, and just roll through every year or something like that. And you know what? I probably haven't actually beaten Heretic all the way through. Actually, you know what? Jeez, I probably haven't even completed a full episode since, like, oh, <laughs> the very, very early 2000s, maybe 2000, 2001, something like that. Uh, maybe even before that. I can't even remember the last time I actually completed an episode in this game, so... This Let's Play is actually going to be sort of, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but uh, I, I make no guarantees of being able to complete uh, this first episode, especially on the hardest skill mode, which I'm playing on right now. So, uh, whereas my Ultimate Doom Let's Play, I'm definitely going to be doing a follow-up on that, and I'm definitely going to be doing Episodes 2 and 3. Episode 4, I still have to practice and make sure I can do that. So I might not do that, but I will definitely be following up my Doom Let's Play regardless. Uh, this, I, I, you know, I can't guarantee I will be doing that, so we'll see how this first episode goes, and then we'll just kind of go from there. Um, kind of like, actually, uh, what I said with my Doom Let's Play when I uh, actually started that, so. But Doom I am much more familiar with, because as I explained in that Let's Play, I come back to Doom at least multiple times a year. If I don't finish it all the way through, I at least play a good chunk. Um, because Doom, I mean, as you guys saw, it only took me about an hour, not even an, not even an hour, to run through that first episode. 
And, um, you know, that's usually about how long it takes me to get through that episode, and, um, you know, and same with episodes two and three, I can just bolt through those episodes with pretty much no problems. Uh, Heretic, on the other hand, again, I'm not, I don't play it nearly as often as, as Doom. You know, I might actually play a level or two a couple times, or maybe once a year or something like that, you know? It is a game I do revisit, but it, I, I'm never grabbed like I am when I play Doom. I mean, that's not to uh, degradate Heretic or anything like that. Heretic is an amazing game, and I definitely recommend you try it out, especially if you like Doom. But I guess the point is, I just don't revisit it like I do Doom. And as a result, well, <sighs> I don't know if I'm going to actually be able to uh, finish this Let's Play. So we're going to just kind of see where we can get on this playthrough. And uh, yeah. So this is actually uh, the first level of the first episode, and we just finished it, and now we're at episode two. Now these first two levels, maybe the third level, I am relatively familiar with, because again, you know, <laughs> much like Doom, uh, when I played this game, a lot of times I would play the first episode. And that was my introduction episode back in the day, so it was the one I kind of uh, went through my trials and tribulations with. Um, so it was one that I played quite a lot. Uh, it was, you know, I was learning the ropes on this episode, so I'm definitely much more familiar with this episode than I am some of the later ones. And likewise with some of the earlier stages in this episode, the first few stages especially, I played a lot back in the day, so... Uh, we'll be able to bolt through the first couple of levels uh, with relative ease, even though it's on the hardest skill mode. Um, but it's those other levels afterwards, uh, we'll, we'll have to see what happens. Uh, I'll have to kind of wing it. And uh, <laughs> So now there's actually some guys back there in the walls. And they are sort of this version's, uh, this game's version of the Doom Imps. Well, not really. They're kind of like the step above the Imps. The, the sort of mummies you see me attacking, or saw me attacking, they're more like Heretic's versions of Doom's Imps. And, uh, they will actually start shooting at you later on down the line. They'll start shooting fireballs or flaming skulls at you or something like that, something weird. And, uh, but these guys, uh, that are hiding behind the walls, um, a little more tricky, they shoot a little bit faster than your imps from Doom, and uh, they will actually hurt you pretty quickly if you're not careful. These little guys right here, they're, uh, well, they're just kind of like flying imps, sort of, gargoyles, whatever you want to call them, and um, they will actually, I think they start shooting fireballs at you as you progress through the game, but at, in this early stage in the game, they don't do that. Uh, they just kind of fly in at you and uh, the claw you and whatnot. But later on, I'm pretty sure they do start uh, shooting fireballs at you, I think. And again, it's been a while since I've really, really played this game and really invested a lot of time in it. So, you know, some of the details I might be spewing off might not be entirely accurate because again, I don't play this game nearly as frequently as I do Doom or something like that, so. This game definitely has a lot more sort of tricks up its sleeve uh, in terms of trying to make you dead compared to Doom, or at least compared to Doom's earlier stages. Doom is, is pretty tame on the, the first episode. It's not really until episodes two, three, and mostly episode four in Ultimate Doom where it really starts throwing uh, curveballs at you and, you know, you'll just kind of walk across the line and three walls will open up around you uh, you know, and you'll be surrounded by enemies when you weren't really even expecting to. Heretic has even more of that uh, earlier on in the game, uh, whereas Doom kind of waits until the later episodes to start pulling that sort of stuff at you. Uh, Heretic is definitely uh, a much more tricky beast in comparison. So, all right, making it back down here. Now, you can actually, what's kind of cool about Heretic, you can actually get different power-ups. If you look down uh, next to my armor, you'll see sort of a book with a skull on it. And that's actually, it's like a power-up. It'll pretty much um, transform my weapons into more powerful versions of them. Like, I have uh, pretty much the crossbow. It shoots out three arrows right now. When I activate the book, it'll shoot out five or six arrows. I don't remember the exact count. My first weapon here, it'll actually shoot out two bullets at one time. They'll be much larger. Like, you'll be able to actually see the projectiles going across the screen. Uh, these gloves right here, 
They're pretty much, it's kind of like equivalent to the chainsaw in Doom. Uh, I, I don't think it's quite as reliable when you're actually attacking enemies. Um, when you use the book, the glow will actually turn red instead of green, and you'll absorb life. Uh, so that's a really, really neat feature in Heretic. And actually, one other thing I wanted to point out is you get other power-ups as well. Uh, by default, if you hit the uh, bracket keys, you can actually scroll through your items. And actually, there's a torch. I should probably use that later on. That'll brighten up the room. I'm going to select the torch just so I don't accidentally use the book. And um, But you can also get things that'll let you hover and fly in the air. And the reason I mention that is because you can actually, I think you can get up on this little platform. You might even be able to walk through that wall where the enemies were, were shooting at me. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just one of those walls you can't go through, but it's programmed to where you can shoot through it. Uh, as you saw, enemies were shooting through it. So, hey, a secret. There's like a little shadow there, so I went ahead and clicked it. Yeah, okay. See? You can actually see from the outside. That's actually pretty cool that I found that. And, yes, I was right. You can walk through it. And I guess the enemies were programmed to not walk through it, so you can't see them. So, there's the secret right there. You know, just walk around. And there was actually a second book, so now I have two books, which is really cool. They, they are one of, some of the most useful items in this game, actually. And I think you might actually be able to get uh, life uh, re-ups, uh, like health potions and things like that. I know you can in Hexen, which was, you know, basically the sequel to this game. Um, I think you might be able to do that in this one. I don't remember. Again, it's been a while since I've really, <laughs> really played this game. So, uh, but you do get some other... Uh, items as well, which is really cool. I think you get these little sort of uh, bombs, these time bombs, and actually I think I'm going to get some of those uh, right up here shortly. Uh, I ran into them actually just a few minutes ago while I was doing a test run, trying to make sure my footage was right when I was recording it. I didn't want to record a whole video and then, you know, have it be faulty like my original Doom Let's Play, which I explained in that video, uh, or the second take of the Doom Let's Play video. Uh, that's where I explain it. So lots of items kind of just, you know, strewn, strewn all over the place. And, uh, you know, you definitely want to try to pick everything up that you can, uh, particularly when you're playing on the hardest mode. When you're playing on the easier modes, it doesn't matter so much. Uh, but on the harder skill modes, uh, you know, you've got to really make your, your bullets count, your shots count. Especially when you're winging it like I am right now. I mean, I'm just, again, I'm just winging it, so. Alright. Open up this door. Uh, some of... Some mummies are going to appear. I remember that happening. And these are the bombs I was talking about. Now, my question is, where did the mummies come from? I wonder if they teleport in. Oh, there they are. Okay. That's very Doom-esque, where a door will will open and reveal, like, pinky demons or something like that. You know what's kind of interesting about running this uh, in DOSBox through Steam is that it doesn't seem to handle as well as Doom does. Doom, um... I, I don't know, maybe Doom just didn't require as many, like, system resources back in the day. Uh, but Heretic doesn't emulate as smooth as Doom does. Uh, so it actually makes uh, recording the footage a little bit choppier. The game actually is chopping up a little bit. It's running at about... Uh, about 35 to 45 frames a second. So it's not silky smooth like uh, Doom was for me. So... Uh, and I actually have noticed a couple hiccups. It's dropped down to 20-something frames. Uh, for just a quick second or two. So it's not like it's, it's staying at that level consistently, but... It's kind of annoying, so... Now, much like Doom, when you get closer to your enemies uh, and you attack them, they will definitely do... I'm sorry, your attacks definitely will do more damage. Uh, what's kind of cool is uh, weapons like this are actually still pretty accurate all the way across the screen. You just have to fire a little bit slower. Take your time with your shots. And you can kind of just pick enemies off from a distance. Very similar to Hexen. Although in Hexen, I think your weapons are even more accurate um, with the uh, the mage. In Hexen, that, it was kind of a, a neat uh, neat game. You could actually pick three different classes. So 
Uh, the mage was actually the only projectile character from the very start of the game. And you start off with a similar wand as you do in this game. Although it's not quite the same, it is uh, a little bit different. Uh, it shoots slower, but it is uh, a little more accurate, I have to say. Okay, I'm gonna actually have to go back and uh, go back to where I was because there's probably gonna be a key or something like that. I'm getting a little ahead of myself already, but you know, not a bad idea to come here anyway. There's a health potion actually, yeah, so you do get health potions in this. It's the, the purple jars. So you'll definitely, actually what I should probably do is select that. And you press enter to select it. And then you press enter again by default. Again, these are just default controls to actually use it. Um, whoa, that. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do is test out this, whoops. There we go, torch. Now I can see through there, very cool. Now, Doom had power-ups like that as well. It had the goggles, uh, but they were instant pickups in Doom. You, um, well, pretty much just like that. They were, they were instant pickups, so they were activated right away uh, the second you grabbed them. All right, don't want to die here, so let's use a more powerful weapon. <laughs> I don't want to waste the potion yet, though, because I know there's a bunch of life pickups. Like, these jars here, they give you 10 health per... So, and I know there's a bunch I missed, so there's no sense in wasting a potion. Okay, that was a green key I picked up, so there's no switch or anything. But there is one more room. And I am going to switch back to this, because I know it's in here. Some more green... Kind of like the equivalent of the Doom explosive barrels. Except they're a little more violent in this game. Uh, they will bounce across the screen a lot faster. And so you actually have to kind of... They sort of ricochet off one another, so you do have to kind of watch out for that. Kind of interesting. Um, blah, 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 da, da. Okay. Yeah, just cut through here again. See, there's a thing of health. There's another thing of health. And if I can get up top, there's even more health. There's another one right here. So, yeah, I don't want to waste your potions in this game. If you know there's health, there's another one. Jeez, I've got a lot of health. Just well, There's another one. I've got a lot of health just kind of... <sighs> Chilling out, chilling around. Okay, go back through this green door. I'm just getting sidetracked now. <laughs> I have a feeling this let's play is definitely going to take a little bit longer than episode one of Doom. The levels in this game are definitely a good bit longer. So let me go ahead and switch to this. I know there's going to be some probably bigger enemies here. And I'm going to have to constantly watch my back because, uh, like right here, I'm going to go ahead and use a book. Yeah. See, I can't even see where the guys are. Oh, there we go. I guess once I crossed a certain threshold, the lights came back on. That's good to know if you're playing this game for the first time. And that's pretty cool that certain enemies will actually drop items in this game as well, much like, uh, Doom. Except it seems to be a little randomized in this game. It doesn't seem to be... Like in Doom, whenever you defeated a shotgun soldier, they would always drop a shotgun. They would, it would always give you four shells. But in this game, um, like, uh, the big sort of uh, little mini knight guys I was fighting that, you know, throw those axes at me, they don't always drop, uh, arrows. Or quivers of arrows. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's a little more, seems to be a little more random uh, in this. Okay, I could definitely use that quiver. <laughs> I'm gonna start using that for the rest of this let's play. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but that is probably the technical term, so. Now these little orbs right here, they're actually for my third weapon up, uh, which uh, I don't think I'm gonna actually get in this level. I thought I do, but... Actually, you know what? Yeah, I, I think I do, so... Let's go back here, and actually, let's make sure this isn't, uh... This hasn't come up yet. Nope. Pretty sure there's a switch you can flip, and that'll come up. And you can grab those power-ups, uh... Huddled around of it. Huddled around it. Around of it? <laughs> Grammar fail. 
Alright, now we are definitely getting close to the end of the stage. I mean, three keys is kind of, a uh, is kind of telling when it comes to that, so... Yep, right at the very end. I could have sworn I had that other weapon here. Um... Oh well, I'll probably get it, uh, maybe the next stage. Wow, 153 enemies, that's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be like double or triple the amount of enemies on level 2 of Doom. That's crazy. And you know, I'm going to save it. Let's play. I'm actually typing this at an angle. There we go. Some of the music is pretty cool in this game, though. The soundtrack definitely fits. Uh, it's not rocking like Doom or anything like that, but... Uh, it definitely fits the sort of more medieval-style atmosphere. Yeah, they're starting to shoot fireballs now, so... By episode 5, those guys are... Man, they're a pain. And they're already kind of a pain already, and they're shooting pretty quickly, so... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to this, because I have a lot of, uh... So I'm going to switch to that as well, just in case I need it as a last resort. So I remember this level too, even though it's been a while since I played it. Um, which I'm not going to switch back to that. <laughs> Stick with the arrows, they're good. Alright, now the question is, where do I go? That's obviously the exit, that's good to know. Oh, I tried opening that door and it didn't open, but now it does, so... I must not have clicked it uh, all the way or something like that. Very nice. That's 20 arrows right there, which... <laughs> as you can see, you run out of arrows pretty quickly, because... You use it a lot. It's a great weapon, it's basically the equivalent of the shotgun to Doom. It's... I kind of see this as the shotgun of Heretic. Um... Whoa, the... Dude's throwing axes at me. <laughs> More dudes gonna be throwing axes at me. I remember that too. Yep, there they are. See, I still remember a little bit, so... I'll try to make the arrows count on those guys. They're, they're definitely tougher than the other guys and they take more hits. So... I'm gonna try something here. Whoa, where did it, he... Ah, oh, crap. See, like I said, guys, they, uh, these guys are... Gonna use this weapon, this special. Try to mow these guys down as quickly as I can. Get up close, because I think you do more damage. You know, two projectiles hitting them instead of one. I have to say, if one thing's for sure, I think Heretic is actually more intense than Doom. Uh, especially on the earlier stages. Uh, Doom is not this intense. Uh, even by episode 2, it's not it's not that intense. Um, even episode 3 is kind of pushing it. It's really episode 4 in Doom that is pretty tough. Alright, so let's get out of here. I don't think I need anything else. Oh, it looks like uh, whatever backpack I picked up earlier actually uh, allows my ammunition to go up to 200 now. Very much like the backpack... Uh, in Doom, which is really cool. Alright, very good. More arrows. Which I think those small arrow packs are, are worth five. Here's another one. 
I really wish I got my third weapon though. It's a really great weapon. I'd like to think I'd like to think it's kind of equivalent to the chain gun in Doom. Um, it has a rapid fire. Uh, it's accurate and it's powerful. Uh, actually, unlike the chain gun in Doom, it, it is powerful. Uh, the chain gun on Doom is just good for kind of stunning enemies, and you get a lot of bullets, so you can, you know, it doesn't really matter as much how much damage it does, because you get a ton of bullets to waste. So there's actually the little backpack, or the sack, whatever you want to call it in this one. Now I'm kind of just, like, taking my time using this weapon, because... There's so many uh, item pickups for this, uh, ammunition pickups for this weapon that I just pretty much missed. So I'm, you know, I might as well waste it because I'm going to get my ammunition back. Oops, shoot, I didn't want to do that. I can't say the same for uh, the, the bow and arrow, un unfortunately, the crossbow. So... Okay, I'm just right back here. Okay, I thought I was far away. So yeah, I see more pickups, more pickups. There's another one. Let's just, yeah, let's come back here real quick just to make sure I don't have any more pieces of ammo laying around. There's another one. So, you know, you if you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys know that when I do these Let's Plays, I like to try to survive. And, um, so that's basically what I'm doing. I'm trying to maximize all of my options uh, to survive. Uh, during this let's play anyway. <laughs> I don't always play this safe when I'm playing solo by myself uh, without talking to, to people. But in this case, uh, you know, I like to try to survive, so I'm gonna do everything I can to, to ensure that. Now, how picking up that ammunition kind of falls into that is, you know, if I can use uh, this weapon, I can save and build up my... Uh, my ammunition for my crossbow, which is going to be uh, a little more useful in life or death situations than uh, this stock weapon is. Okay, but let's go ahead and flip back to the crossbow. Yeah, 49. Whoa. Hey. Hey, buddy. <laughs> that caught me off guard. See, so save the uh, bow and arrows for situations like that. And let me go back down here, back to the beginnings. I know there is a. Uh, that's not the beginning, but we'll go here anyway. <laughs> ah, yeah, staircase. Alright, let's slow down a little bit. Whoa! Crap, man! They... They... Uh, they throw a ton of surprises at you in this game. That's for sure. Yeah, if you guys like Doom, but you haven't played Heretic, and perhaps if you'd like a challenge, <laughs> definitely play Heretic. Uh, you will not be disappointed. I don't even want to know where this goes, but uh, I've got some health uh, potions, so what the heck, let's try it out. Okay, cool, right right to the beginning. Sometimes Doom, you'd go through a teleporter, and it would just throw you in like the middle of uh, a room filled with uh, filled with enemies. Which was always kind of, kind of annoying, but uh, yeah. Okay, cool torch. Okay, so that whole left area I missed earlier on is not too terribly important. But this is down, and there's a switch to flip. And I don't really know what it does, but let me go over here just to make sure there's nothing that appears. I swear the game respawns these little, uh, you know, the little flying gargoyle guys. Um... Oh. We can just end the level. Oh, wait, no, this is probably going to give me my next key. This probably isn't going to be the, the end. Oh, shoot. It was inside the door and it shut on me. <laughs> I'm sure this is going to open up. Yeah, oh, crap. I got stuck on something. And hey, look at that. They're like the specters of, uh, <laughs> of doom. Alright, well, let's go back. I want to... There's actually a, a good secret area uh, that's going to give me a lot of items and so forth. So, it's pretty much out there. You can get quite a few items. So, let's see if I can make it out there somehow. I don't remember how. Uh, yeah, I don't... Okay. 
Well, obviously this just loops around, so let's go back up here. Wrap back around this way, to see what's over here. Okay, that was a teleporter I went up up there, so let's wrap back around here. Okay, yeah. Making a little more progress. Uh -huh. That might have opened up a door to the outside part, so... Uh, let's go back down here. I did flip that, yeah. I seriously don't remember how to get out there. I, I did it. Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. Okay, now I know this isn't going to kill me, but I might as well just save it anyway. Now, what's kind of interesting is this area has sort of like a current, and you get dragged along it, and it makes getting back a little tricky. I remember that, that's for sure. <laughs> kind of cool. Whoa! Alright, we're just gonna book it. We're not even gonna... Actually, we need that. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna book it. I don't even want to bother with these guys. I don't want to waste my ammo. Alright, let's exit the level. <laughs> Where's the exit? <laughs> oh, no. There's a... Uh... Oh, there it is. It's an elevator. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, those were some of the last enemies in the stage, but I did miss a couple enemies, so I obviously missed some secrets or something. Save it again. We're looking pretty good on ammunition and things like that. Which is good. That's always good. These guys are taking more hits now. You used to be able to just kill them in one shot, but... Yeah, they're taking more hits, and I'm taking damage as a result. Bastards. <laughs> uh, I don't remember how this level progresses at all. This is gonna be tricky. I, I do remember playing this game uh, quite a few years ago and getting to this point on the hardest mode, and I think I just kind of gave up here. I died a lot. Um, Again, I do play much more recklessly by myself uh, than I do if I'm recording a Let's Play, but... Uh, you know, I remember... And I'm also the, the kind of person where I don't like to use save states. Uh, I'll save at the beginning of the stage. Um, but I won't save after that. I'll try to go through the entire level uh, without uh, basically dying. And sometimes that doesn't really work. Yeah, and these guys are shooting... Like I said, flaming skulls now, and that gets, uh... You guys can probably imagine how crazy this game will get, um, by the fifth episode on the hardest mode. It, it gets pretty nuts, actually. Uh, very nuts, actually. So, <laughs> But you're getting a taste for it already. Um, just like, it's almost like everybody shoots projectiles at you. Which kind of sucks. Um... <laughs> Whereas in Doom, you have very select characters that throw actual projectiles at you. Typically, just the imps and then the Kaku demons. And then, of course, the barons of hell and enemies like that. But you don't really encounter those enemies that often in Doom. Uh, in Heretic, it's like all the common enemies start shooting fireballs at you. And it's... or just projectiles. And it, it gets very tough uh, very fast. So your bridge will eventually come up, and I can grab that key. I know that. Switch my weapons. And I think they're flaming skulls. Uh, they might even start homing at you as their sort of skill level gets up higher and their difficulty level gets up higher. So, I mean, this game gets really, uh, it could be a real pain in the ass, uh, once you get farther into the game on the hardest mode.
Where'd that guy come from? Oh, probably over here. Makes sense. Hey. Will you die already? Thank you. Jeez. <laughs> Just trying to pick these guys off instead of wasting my uh, arrows again and again and again. There we go. All right. Whoa! Jeez, man. Talking about guys creeping up on you. That's what I was warning about in Doom. It's always always the stragglers that will uh, that'll get you, and that's <laughs> definitely true for Heretic as well. Except because the levels are a little more tricky, you know, like walls like that will just come down when you don't expect them to. And when you're in a situation like I am right now, where you can't really hear what's going on as well, uh, sometimes you're not going to actually hear the walls come down, and uh, they will get you. Fortunately, no matter what happens, I should still be good because I have three potions in my inventory. I can just use them as my life gets low. Uh, but you do have to be really, you know, quick on the draw with that. Um, because enemies will, especially when you're surrounded, enemies will take away a lot of life really fast in this game. Um, Ah, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is an awesome weapon. Alright, so we got the key. Whoa! Fudge! Oh, man, I did not... Ah! See, I've got to be playing a little more careful. Ah, oh, that was bad, man. I don't, I don't even remember that happening from back in the day. <laughs> I thought I was gonna... I thought I was gonna die completely, and that was gonna be it. I'd have to start over, but... <laughs> uh, that totally caught me off guard. <laughs> All right. I uh, know this next key is probably going to be a green key. Uh, grab all these little. Can't really call them ammo clips because they're not really that. They're like little orbs and whatever. <laughs> ammo pieces. I'll just call them that. Alright, getting all the health I can as well. And where is my orange door? It's not over here. Where's it? Yellow. Yellow? Yeah, it's yellow. My yellow door. It's sort of orange. Yellow orange. Orange yellow. Very nice weapon. I approve of this weapon. <laughs> yeah. It's got lots of ammunition too. It does more damage than your regular weapon. Mows enemies down faster. That's where I need to use the green key. Okay. Good to know. That is when I finally get the green key. Be some axe guys. Yep, I could hear. I could hear the axes uh, crashing against the walls. So, <laughs> see, I do recognize this area, but I don't remember exactly what I'm supposed to do. So, or where I'm supposed to go. So. Kill these guys, probably just come down here. Hope for the best. <laughs> I'm gonna switch back to this real quick. There we go, there's the green key. I'm gonna try to save the uh, the blue weapon for when I really need it. Because that's actually what's gonna get you out of the uh, you know, tight situations. 
like a big group of enemies just appears around you. The, the blue fist weapon, whatever you want to call it, uh, is definitely more useful in those situations, but... I mean, it's great in every situation, but again, when your ammunition's limited, <laughs> and you're not uh, in god mode or something like that, uh, you gotta be a little selective of how you play. Uh, particularly when you're on the, the hardest skill modes. Okay, I do remember this. We're, this should be towards the end of the level. Oh, not these. Oh, jeez. Very similar enemies are in Hexen, if not the same enemies. And actually, I'm gonna go back real quick, just to make sure I get uh, a lot of health pickups and any extra pieces of ammunition I might be missing. There we go. A little piece of health. Any more up here? Nope. Definitely don't want to go back there. Uh, okay, it's, I'm just gonna call it a level. That's good. <laughs> I'm hearing more enemies, though. Oh, there we go. Cool. Oh, so that's where I went to. Okay. Now, in Heretic, you can actually look up and look down, so I could have looked down there, and that was actually really unique for this engine back then when it came out. Uh, it was one of those cool ad additions to the Doom engine. Uh, and, uh, you know, I don't even know what the keys are right now, and I think I've actually overwritten them just to get my strafe left and strafe right working. Okay. Oh, this might have been the level I was having a hard time at a few years back. I remember all these, like, sub- yeah, sub-buildings and whatnot. Okay. Yeah, this was the level I got to that I was having trouble at. I might not have passed this level uh, back when I was really trying to, you know, run through the first episode. This was like five, six years ago, something like that, so it's been a while. But, uh, I don't think I made it past this ep- uh, this level, I'm sorry. Now, much like Doom, you've got auto-aiming in this game. That's basically what I'm doing here. I'm waiting for these guys to appear up that window and that you can barely see because the screen cuts it off. And I'm probably trying to take them out early because they shoot a three-way shot, which can make dodging a little, a little tricky, so... And it's good to try to just pick the enemies off, you know, out in the open. At least, that's what I like to do, so... Coming back to me. I'm getting the movements down, so... I'm hearing enemies, but I'm not seeing enemies.
Jeez, man, you don't you can't even stun these guys. So, note to self, don't attack those guys head to head with this weapon. Stand back from a distance. Which you obviously can't do when you're in a, you know, closet type area, obviously. Which means I should probably switch back to the weapon I have no ammunition for. Yeah, so I'll switch back to this. Silver shield, I'm guessing that uh, raises my defense or something like that. Actually, yeah, it's probably just equivalent to the armor, but I thought you could use the shields. No, you can't. Oh, I think the egg actually turns people into chickens or something like that. I'm messing with that later. <laughs> I thought I had more potions. I don't remember using these potions. I had thought I had three potions. I don't remember using them at all. So anyway, I got the, uh, the yellow key, so... We'll go back through here. Dope. something else or something? Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to get that. <laughs> and this... Another Tome of Power, that's what they're called. Okay, I think I should be getting towards the end of the level. I remember this already. And this is actually similar level design to what you see in uh, Doom 2. You got walls like this that come down. Like, I can't see the enemies, so... Ow. Ow. Whew. Talk about lots of damage, jeez. What the f man? Jesus, man. I was trying to switch back to my uh, health potions and I couldn't. Ugh. It's not something you want to do when you're surrounded by enemies. That's for... That's for sure. Jeez. That was totally my mistake, but I should have known better than that. But I was getting a little cocky. Super cocky. God, shit, man. I'm a fucking idiot, man. All right, well, I guess we're at to start this over, guys. So I'm gonna try to bolt through this as quickly as I can. So, like I said at the very beginning of this video, I make no guarantees of actually completing this. And you know what? I could have gotten through that part perfectly fine, but I was getting cocky. And I rushed out into a big room with lots of enemies flying around me, and I was stuck, basically cornered. And that was just totally my fault. That's an example of what not to do when you're playing this game uh, for survival. I mean, if you're speedrunning, that's one thing, but I'm not. I'm not speedrunning. I'm not really even trying to show off or anything, I'm just trying to play the game, you know, somewhat efficiently. Enjoy myself while I do this, you know. 
But, uh, you know, that was, that was awful. That was terrible. <laughs> I'm actually kind of angry at myself now for that. I really shouldn't have done that. Because now I've got to go through the whole level again. I had already made really good progress. And now I've got to do it all over again. But, again, that's, you know, totally my fault. Now you guys have got to watch through it all over again. I absolutely hate doing that. And, uh, you know, I could just chop out, uh, this whole second part of the playthrough, but I, I don't... You know, I, I don't like doing that unless I can set myself up for it. Like, oh, hey guys, I failed! I'll see you back in, you know, 15 minutes when, uh, you know, I finally beat this level and I'll just edit it out, but... I... <laughs> too late for that already. Um... <laughs> So, I'm just gonna try to rush through here again. So, where's that yellow key? It's up there. Okay, so I guess I have to come this way again. Been there, done that already. There's the key. Alright, and the green key was kind of in a similar situation. But on the other side, through the, the yellow door... See, at least my memory's still working. You know, I can... That'll help me get through this a little bit quicker, but... I am going to have to go back and edit out the F-bomb, though, in my slamming of the desk after dying. <laughs> I don't want this to turn into another Lords of Thunder or R-Type Turbo Duo or even worse, the writing project for the PlayStation where I actually broke a controller during the Let's Play. Uh, definitely don't need to be doing that again, especially not while I'm playing, you know, doing a PC Let's Play. The mic will pick that up much easier. So I've still got my items, and uh, one potion, that's it. You know, and I really can't complain too much about the difficulty because, durr, I am playing it on the hardest skill mode, so it's like, <laughs> if I get angry about it being hard, it's like, well, hey, stupid, you put it on the hardest mode in the game. Where do you, what, did you think it was going to be a cakewalk? I mean, <laughs> I see, I, like, I should know better than that. Like, you know, so I can't, I can't complain about the difficulty one bit because I put it on the hardest mode. So, yeah. <laughs> Do, 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 do. This music reminds me of something that would be in Doom. Alright, I'm gonna switch back to this. This is effectively where I died last time. <laughs> so don't make the same mistake. Jeez, if these guys actually die, jeez. Alright, let's come back down here and play it safe for a minute. Uh, switch back to this weapon. Okay. Back on the original side, so just wanted to make sure I was safe before I just booked it out in the open again. All right, we'll just let those guys kind of roam around for a little bit, and I'll come through here real quick. Do, 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 do. Just gonna let him walk up. Make it easier to fight him. So if I walk down that stairwell, he's going to uh, shoot me, and I'm probably going to get hit. Just like on the first uh, playthrough of this stage. 
Oh, nice. The, uh, the mummy guy attacked him and killed him. Very nice. So enemies do attack other enemies in this game, just like they do in Doom. Enemies basically fight each other, which is pretty cool. That was always something really cool about Doom, because in Wolfenstein 3D, it was you against the Nazis, and obviously the Nazis weren't going to, you know, try to kill each other. They wanted to kill you. <laughs> um, but in Doom, you were, you were kind of dealing with just, um, you know, hellspawn demons, uh, monsters, basically, you know? So it was, they would actually go at it, uh, at it with each other and fight each other, which was pretty cool. Saving the best for last. <laughs> Let's come back and, uh, ooh, shh. <laughs> That's not really going back. That's going to a dead end. Alright, switch over to... Oops. Switch over to my health and safety this time. Unlike the last time where I'm trying to scroll as the enemies are killing me. And because scrolling is a little cumbersome, I mean, it is, uh... Gosh, shoot, man. See, enemies can really deal some damage really fast. And I'm taking a guy head-on that shoots uh, three projectiles at me. And I'm obviously at the other end of the stage that I haven't uh, covered yet, so that was dumb too, just rushing into this area I'm not even familiar with yet. That's bound to get you killed in a first-person shooter like this. Yeah, their skulls, I think, are already starting to home in a little bit. Alright, let's get out of here. We gotta get safe. I'm having I'm having a hard time now. Which kinda sucks, but... <laughs> I mean, I don't mind a good challenge, but when I do these Let's Plays, I don't wanna just die over and over again. I mean, that's kinda boring for you guys, so... I mean, if I do keep dying, I'll just call it quits, and that'll be it. Uh, you know, I tried. And, um, I tried, so, <laughs> like I said at the beginning of the video, I can't guarantee I'll actually be able to finish this game. Uh, but I was making really good progress, really quickly. So, you know, I kind of expected to be able to finish this episode. Uh, if you kind of know what I mean. Again, I'm just trying to scrounge up all the items I can. Might as well use this sort of invisibility thing. Trying to see if I missed any uh, health potions along the way. I think I've I think I've grabbed all of them. Which, yeah, blah. Use a torch. Might as well select back to this weapon because I might need it. Ah, those guys are still up there. The invisibility is only good if enemies uh, don't know you're there, like if you haven't activated the enemies yet, so to say. But because I've already triggered those enemies, they already know where I am, and, and they will be able to attack me, even though I've used the invisibility power-up. Okay, I need to come in here. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, I've always got this weapon.
Thank you. <laughs> do 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 do. Yeah, this is definitely a level I was having a hard time at several years ago when I actually tried uh, completing this episode. And you guys can obviously see why, I'm sure. It's a tricky little stage, a little claustrophobic in places like this where you've got all these uh, hallways and whatnot. Let me go ahead and flip this switch again, get back up on that elevator. With that platform that rises up. See if anything else is up here worthwhile. <laughs> Inch my way of cr across, of course. Alright, some ammunition. That's worthwhile. That is getting hit is not worthwhile. <laughs> Let's fall back down. See if I can. Okay, potion. Get back to safety. Provided. That's assuming this is safe. Okay. And that's actually where I died earlier on, right here. It's gonna be a long hallway coming up, I believe. Nope. Oh, yeah. There's the blue key. Alright, let me switch back to... Man, those potions, they don't give you much health. Jeez. I don't even know if I want to bother with that, but... Oh yeah, I can definitely use that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Man, I wish I found this earlier. Fool pretty much everything? Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Definitely wish I found that earlier. Entrance, gotta go through this one. And actually, I kind of want to go back up to go to that other teleporter to get those other items I missed. And I'll go through this too. <sighs> Man, this is, I mean, uh, Heretic is, uh, it's pretty intense, guys. Once you got it cranked up, and uh, yeah, it's tough. Not an easy game. Like, Doom, I feel, is kind of... I don't want to say it's easy-easy, but it's definitely easier than, than uh, this game is. That's for sure. Alright, screw it. Let's just, uh... Man, more enemies. Ugh. See, there's that area up there, too, where I can get some bombs. Oh, that's a... I forgot what that power-up does up there. Oh, here's the teleporter. That's right. Alright, cool. So I went through that other one, I think, so... Nope, I went through this one. Shoot. Oh, no, it just put me out on the opposite side. Oh, the crap! That was awful. Okay, let's not do that again. We'll just try to finish the stage. So apparently if you fall down in between those two waterfalls, they... <sighs> lead you to a group of enemies, and... 
and another teleporter. I got lucky. I didn't die, actually. So, all right, let's find that blue door. I think it's on the other side. that okay switch back to weapon number two wait hey I'll take that You got the stained glass windows like you have in Hexen. Except in Hexen it was really cool because you could actually smash them open. They would crash into lots of tiny shards and fly all over the place. And again, Hexen also used the Doom Engine, you know? It was enhanced and um, they added quite a few cool effects in Hexen that you didn't see in Doom or Heretic or games like that, so... Uh, Hexen was an interesting game though. It was... Uh, Interesting game. It was non-linear. And I had to flip a switch, obviously. And I think it's it might be in one of these uh, windows where the switch is. I could be wrong. Let me inspect all these windows. Oh, I see what you're supposed to do. Okay, there's the switch. More enemies? Yep. Okay, yeah, what they want you to do is use the wings. Oops, shoot. Okay. So now I'm kind of hovering, and you can actually fly all the way to the ceiling if you want. But really all I want to do is just get all these items and then exit the level. Oh, it put me up automatically. Shoot. Page down. Page up. Insert. Okay, so... There we go. Insert lowers me, and page up lets me fly, okay. I just want to grab all these items first. Oh, now you give me a map scroll. That's real, real nice. <laughs> you give me a map at the end of the level. Well, I guess the map can actually be pretty good. It probably tells you where some of the secrets are and whatnot. And actually, I'm going to go through here real quick. While I still have this power up. Fly up. And see if I can get to some of these rooms I missed. Like this part right here. It's exactly what I wanted. Got to it right as it wore off, too. What is this power up? Ring. Oh, invincibility. Yep, can definitely use some of that. <laughs> what I am not going to do is waste it on this level, though. I'm done with this stage. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I've definitely had enough of this level, that's for sure. I wasted a torch, though. So many enemies in each level. <sighs> I don't know how many more levels I have. One, two, I'm thinking maybe three stages, this being one of them. Try to pick off all the enemies one by one until there's none. I do remember this level, too, from playing it a lot as a kid. I don't remember the progression of the level, but I definitely remember this big open room. And the cool music. There we go, full health. guys coming from? Like, where did he come from? He... I just walked this whole area. 
Uh, some enemies have got to spawn in or something. Oh, he he came through there. Okay, I, I tried opening this side and it wouldn't open, so I came here and that triggered this wall to come up. All right, I see what happened. I'm an idiot. <sighs> Nothing to see here. Now let's see if I can play a little bit better on this level than I did on the last level, huh? You notice if I just hold down the fire button, all the shots don't uh, target the enemy. But if I tap, and I'm aiming right, they will more often than not hit the enemy. So you won't waste as much ammunition. Uh, unfortunately, it will take more time to kill the enemies. But uh, it's kind of worth saving your ammunition for and playing it safe sometimes. Like these little gargoyle guys, they're... Uh, they're the most common enemies in the game, but when you get a big group of them next to you, it's, you know, surrounding you especially, it can suck. So, sometimes it's better to just pick them off from a distance, especially when they're throwing fireballs like that. It's easier to dodge the fireballs from a distance than it is up close like that. As you saw, I just got hit by one. back here to safety. When there's only one of those guys, it's okay to take them on, um, you know, take them head on with just your stock weapon. Because, you know, it's easy to just dodge left and right, kind of like fighting an imp in Doom. Uh, and actually, a lot of enemies in Doom, they would just file... I'm sorry. <laughs> they'll just file. <laughs> they'll, they'll fire one projectile at you. And so you can just dodge left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Uh, even the Cyber Demons, which were like pretty much, you know, the, the most vicious enemies in Doom. Uh, you know, you could just strafe their, their rockets left, right, left, right, left, right. There was, wasn't much of a threat as long as you weren't, you know, huddled up next to a wall or something like that. So, similar concept in this game. So... We had enemies on the other side of the, uh, the stained glass. I was lucky I didn't take more damage there because I was focusing on the little red imps or gargoyles, whatever you want to call them again, but so.
great. I don't even remember what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, get out of there. That's... Uh... And what I can do is... Yeah, definitely not something there. Switch to my... Could use the invincibility. I'm gonna use a book. And then leave it on the invincibility in case uh, things get crazy. I'm gonna switch back to this weapon. Look what this does when it's powered up. <laughs> so we'll use that up here. Bastards. <laughs> That's more like it. That's what I'm talking about. We'll do the same thing up here. Well, it looks like there are no invisible doors up there or anything like that. So the next question is, where am I supposed to go? I don't have any means to fly here or anything like that. I don't remember what I was supposed to do here. I remember this area, and I actually think I remember getting stuck here a long time ago. Oh, that's it. Secret. That's it. There we go. So we'll have to do that again. Alright. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah, their flaming skulls are starting to home in. Sort of. Or maybe they just go at an arch. Or an arc. Narc is the right word. <laughs> you know, something I haven't touched up on yet in this video is that this was, uh, you know, just like, uh, you know, like Doom had its shareware episode, the very first episode. Uh, this was also a shareware episode for Heretic. And as you can see, I'm having a pretty hard time with this episode. Um, and, you know, share these shareware episodes were typically free back in the day. You can just download them. And you'd have basically like a quarter or a fifth of the game for free. And then you'd go buy the rest if, uh, if you wanted to, if you liked it. But even just having the shareware episode is a lot of content. I mean, this is taken me I think we're well over the hour mark already I don't know for sure but I'm pretty sure we are and um, yeah I mean just considering you could download this for free back in the day is just really cool um, and I you know I think it's even more content really than the, the first episode of doom is because all of these levels are much larger than uh, pretty much any level in the first episode of doom so uh, it was Obviously a great value. I mean, you can't beat free, but uh, there's a lot of content considering it was free, so... Okay, there's a group of enemies over there in this window. There's another invincibility power-up. Look at that. Maybe I should use it. <laughs> All right, so I got the green key, and I know there's a green door up here somewhere. Which I think it was up here. I probably gotta flip some kind of switch to activate that stairwell. <sighs> the question is, where's the switch? It's not it. Man, I don't want to go down there again. There's probably not really any reason to. 
because it just leads me back to here. That's where I came up. And... Ah, there we go. Morph Ovum is what it's called. It's the, uh... Yeah, the egg that turns enemies into chickens, I believe. A wand crystal. That's what, uh... Ammunition's called for my first weapon. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting lost on a game I used to play all the freaking time. Do do do. I mean, there's enemies up there, but oh, that's right. This is like ah, I remember now. Flip a switch and a <laughs> platform lowers on the other side of the room. Well, that wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> So that lowers that one. Let's see what one of these other ones lowers. That one obviously lowers that one. But I need the one that lowers something else so I can get to that stairwell. Is there another one over here? Where's the freaking switch? I need one more freaking switch. Alright, this is getting old pretty fast. <laughs> See, it only. This is embarrassing. <laughs> uh, see if I still had the flying power up, I could just fly up there and get this over with, but I don't, so yeah. Or is there a switch on one of these uh, pillars that I missed? It's always a possibility, right? Okay, no, no switch. How about one of these windows? Can I go through one of these windows? No, oh, apparently not. Well, maybe there was something up here that I missed. Because I kind of just rushed through this part. Apparently not. Jeez, man. <sighs> Alright, screw it. We'll go down here one more time. Probably not necessary, but... No switch here, no switch there. Obviously no switch in either of these columns. And there's definitely no walkthrough window here, because I already tried. Yep. Yeah, I got a flask though, that's always good. <sighs> yeah, and this just puts me back out here. Man, what the... 
Uh, I wonder if there's like a switch on one of these tombstones. <laughs> this is at this is the point where you start looking for like everything you possibly can, um, because you're lost. I'm definitely lost. And I definitely remember doing the exact same damn thing way back in the day. I always remember seeing that tomb up there, or that tome. That tome of power, whatever it's called. Oh, hey, look at that. That's probably the switch I needed. Yep, look... Leave it up to a required secret. <laughs> Not the best level design, I have to admit, but... I figured it out, right? <laughs> wait and see what else is up here before I jump through that teleporter. So what did that activate? I have no idea. I have to go back down. Hey, look at that. Three-way shot, uh, wizard guys. Alright. Oh, come on. Really? Freaking really? Ugh. Man, talk about a pain in the freaking ass! I am just not liking this level right now. <laughs> to be honest, I don't remember liking it back in the day, but, I mean, again, that was a long time ago. Look at that flying power up. Could've used that like 10 minutes ago. I mean, maybe I have to go back down. I don't want to, though. <laughs> See, there is, uh... Okay. Oh, there we go. Durr. And that should be the exit. But I want to try something real quick, because I just noticed something else. Maybe one of these uh, mirrors actually opens up. Yep. I saw that mirror from that window. Don't tell me that opens up, too. I guess it probably only opens up from one side. Okay. Alright, well, let's get out of this stage. Let's end it. Because it looks like I found the exit. Whew. Wow, there were eight secrets on that stage. That took me 20 minutes. Kind of reminiscent of uh, one of the early areas in Hexen.
Greetings, human. Are you ready to die? It's like, there's this, uh, sort of face that appears in Hexen as you uh, encounter, like, new areas, new hubs. And this face always appears and kind of taunts you. And, and the very first time you encounter the face, he says that. He says, Greetings, human. Are you ready to die? And that was always so cool to me when I was, like, 12. <laughs> Still cool to me now, though. Hexen's a great game. I played Hexen a lot. Uh, don't expect to see a Let's Play on that, though. That's, uh, yeah, I don't... I've been meaning to revisit Hexen for over a decade now, and I still haven't. I mean, I have, and I'll, I'll beat the first hub, and then after that, I just, you know, get caught up in other things, and I never finish it, so... I honestly would not expect a Let's Play on that, ever. <laughs> See, I do remember this level, too. I mean, I remember all these stages, I just don't remember, like, the, the progress, or, like, the, the route of progression, you know? Like, I definitely remember this level. And again, I played Heretic a lot back in the day. I probably played it for a while, I was playing it just as much as I was playing Doom. Like, Heretic is such a big game, there's so many things to find, and... Uh, it was always a great challenge, especially cranking it up on the hardest skill mode. And, uh... So, you know, I, again, I played it a lot, so a lot of this stuff is familiar to me. But, I don't know, like, the nuances like I used to. Like, I get a key, where do I use this key? Where does... Where's this hidden area to get a necessary key in the game, or something stupid like that. Like, we encountered them on, on the, uh, the last stage we just played. So... blocks were gonna come down. Man, cheap Wolfenstein enemy placement. <laughs> you ever see a pillar that's, uh, or a little hallway that has a block, you know, where on the other side there's just enough room to house an enemy. There's usually an enemy there. That's the Wolfenstein 3D way of doing things, and Heretic does that, uh, in spades. <laughs> Let's get the invincibility power up ready. See, what the heck, man? I guess when you end stages, it takes away your power-ups. Because I had uh, multiple invis invincibility power-ups. I didn't use one. Now I only have one. It's like, what happened? That's actually pretty frustrating. Oh, look at that. So this is, uh, God Mode, the invincibility power-up. Thank you. 
<sighs> Stupid flying enemies. Now I actually don't have my control set up with W, S, A, and D like I did in Doom, so... Whenever I switch a weapon, I have to literally reach all the way across the keyboard to uh, switch it, so... <laughs> well, and then again, I probably could just use the... Nope, number keypad doesn't work. Because they're mapped to uh, looking up and down. What is the point of this area if that's it? I mean, just enemies. Oh, that's the point. Don't tell me these walls come down, right? Nope, I guess not. Ah. <laughs> I outsmarted Heretic, sort of, not really. <laughs> I would have truly outsmarted it if the walls had actually come down, but... <laughs> I don't even know if I want to go over there. But, uh... Going to select the magic egg, or whatever the hell it's called. And use it! Yeah, chickens. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. There's a blue key up there. Ah, it was really good to pick these guys off from the outside, because now I don't have to deal with them. Oh, look, you can get to uh, there from the outside. I didn't know that. What happened to my wing power-up? I got another one. Yeah, I think on the hardest mode, this game takes away your power-ups when you exit the level. Because I had, I'm pretty sure I had another wing power-up, and it's gone. I was gonna use it to get up there and grab the, those power-ups. It's completely gone. What the hell, man? I wonder if that's just a quirk of the hardest mode, because I don't ever remember that happening. If anybody knows for sure, if anybody that's watching this is really experienced with Heretic, uh, let me know. Definitely want to know. Unless there are enemies that can steal power-ups from you or something like that, but I don't think any enemy has done that yet. I mean, if they have, um... And it's entirely possible, because again, power-ups are missing. Uh, it, they haven't made it obvious that something's been stolen or something like that has happened, so... Oh, I don't remember where the, the blue door was. <laughs> Not at all. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> I'm not focusing right now. I keep reverting back to using the mouse to strafe when I've already got strafe left and strafe right keys mapped individually. I don't know why I'm doing that. I I must just be tired. It's been a long day and I'm recording this after a long day of, of work. And as you guys, as many of you guys know, I work a mid shift. Uh, I get off at midnight. So when I'm doing videos like this, it's always late at night. Like right now, it's probably 3.30 or 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, there's my door I'm looking for, so... I am pretty tired right now, actually. Hey, there's some wings. Okay. 
Try to make sure these enemies are gone so they don't trap me underneath one of those blocks. I don't have an invincibility power up anymore, so, you know, those blocks will do some serious damage. There's another one of those flying guys. Come on, man, come through already. Alright, screw it. I almost feel like I'm I'm playing Robotron more in this game than I am when I played Doom. Like enemies coming from all sides, projectiles coming from all sides. Um, I mean, it definitely happens on occasions in Doom, but there's usually I don't know. Well, actually, you know, you see, I could have just rolled back through there, and I probably would have been safe. All the guys probably would have come through. Half of them uh, would have gotten crushed to death. So. Yeah. So it's, in reality, it's just me not being familiar with uh, the game, you know? Not planning things out uh, ahead of time. I can tell enemies are duking it out down there. So I'm going to wait for them to get on this platform. I'm just going to take them out as they come up. You can hear them attacking each other. Just let them kill each other. Alright, come on, get on the platform already so I can- there you go. Oh, come on! <laughs> He's taken out all the enemies for me, though. <laughs> I see you, man. Get on the damn platform. Oh, he must be on, like, a ledge or something. Yeah, that's what it is. Alright, I'm gonna use one of these books. Oh, I just realized that using the book uses up more ammunition. That's eating through this, uh, ammo like popcorn. I'm gonna find some enemies so I can make use of, uh... ...this book. That's obviously the exit, but I'm gonna see what else I have over here. Chickens! <laughs> nice. Uh, so that's probably it. That's the end. I'm not even gonna bother with that teleporter. Screw that. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. <sighs> All right. I don't even know if this is the last stage or not. Um,
honestly, this game is it gets pretty tough. I mean, this sort of situation is a situation you'd be in in a later episode in Doom, not the very first episode. So, I mean, as you can kind of tell, Heretic is it's a lot more challenging than Doom, if you ask me. Uh, and that's not counting Doom's nightmare mode, but Doom even says that mode isn't even remotely fair. So, <laughs> I don't even really count it in. Uh, in what I'm talking about, and the point I'm trying to make, so... This is definitely a challenging game, and, uh, it's- it's tough. And again, I don't even know if this is the last level of this episode, but I guess we're gonna find out. And if it is, I don't remember what the boss is, I don't remember if it's, like, the Cyber Demon knockoff. Or if they're giving me these power-ups, we've gotta be towards the end. Is there a switch or something I'm supposed to hit? I yeah, there's probably a switch up there and I missed it. Derp. <laughs> Yeah, lo and behold, there's a switch. Alright, let's try this again. Pretty sure those things are, yeah, they're definitely respawning. Interesting. I don't remember this part, though. <laughs> I don't remember this part at all. Um... Ow! Crap, man. Jeez. <sighs> See if I can pick these guys off from a distance, because obviously my other plan wasn't working. I was hoping that the explosive things would filter through the windows and uh, do some damage to the enemies, but it wasn't happening. You see, I don't want to walk uh, through this area until those guys are all taken care of, because they will kill me if I try to just bolt through.
Dude, there's a lot of those guys. What the hell, man? What a pain in the ass. You gotta be freaking kidding me, dude. Really? Yeah, I'm at the boss. At the freaking boss. So that was the trick. Run straight through, flip the switch, and then these walls come down. And I definitely remember what I'm going to be fighting. It's these big-ass skull things, and they might even say things to you. I don't remember. But they are, they've are they got to be the boss of this, uh, this episode. Alright, let's make sure we got... Yeah, we'll use this weapon. And... What I should probably do is use this just to get up off the ground. One, got two. There's these tornadoes following me the whole damn time. Got three. And the tornadoes are still there. Go away, tornado. No one likes tornadoes. Especially when they're chasing you. Jeez, man. boss or something? Oh, I see. Dude, get up! I don't know what my controls are. <laughs> Oh, that's it. Okay.
But no one ever said being a heretic was easy. <laughs> Alright guys, well that's... That wraps this up. This was actually a pretty, pretty long Let's Play. Uh, I'm actually surprised I made it through to the, uh, the end of the episode. Uh, but we did. Great first person shooter, but as you can tell, if you're experienced with Doom, Heretic is definitely a, a step up above Doom in terms of the challenge. It's, it's a far more difficult game. Uh, I think Doom's definitely more balanced until you get to Episode 4 or some stages in Doom 2. But uh, this is a, a quite the challenging game. And just to give you a heads up on, on kind of where this game goes, um, check this out. I'm going to put um, go to the last level on the fifth episode. And look at this. This is just the start of the fifth episode. And you just have your main weapon to start off with. And once you fire, everyone turns around and starts throwing projectiles at you. And so this is kind of a taste of how nutty this game can get. And this part actually used to give me so much trouble back in the day. And uh, yeah, so this is this is kind of how tricky the game gets, and I'm just gonna let myself die. But uh, yeah, Heretic on the PC, very challenging game, but it's a, it's a really good game though. And if you're not the kind of person that likes a challenge, where you do have easier skill modes in the game, like if we got our new game and do the same level but put it on the easiest mode. Holy crap, there's still a lot of enemies. <laughs> Even on the easiest mode, you still have a lot of enemies. But it doesn't look like they're a lot slower. Like, I don't even... I don't feel like I'm threatened, even though there's a ton of enemies. There's a few shooting some projectiles, but... So, yeah, I mean, you can put it on the easier skill modes and whatnot. Um... Jeez. If this was Doom and this was on the easiest mode, there'd be like two enemies in the room. That was it. <laughs> <sighs> Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. I want to say as usual, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. <laughs> if you've even made it this far. Um, and uh, to everyone watching, I'd just like to say thanks again for watching. And uh, I'll catch you guys soon.